Hello everyone, I'm Kuroi, and this is my Neo's in-depth boss guides to Nue, the first boss of the third level. Now my recommended items for Nue is pretty simple. Of course there's the elixir, and you'll also want to have equipped sacred water, especially if you're a little bit shaky on your key pulses. Nue does generate a lot of miasmic clouds on the ground, so it's going to be very beneficial to have that sacred water ready so that you can regenerate your stamina uh, without the interruption of the miasma. A couple of other suggested items are the Daionjin Sake, which reduce elemental damage, as well as the sacred ash, because lightning elemental damage does cause a slowing effect to where your movement speed and attack speed will be slowed and it does stack so it becomes increasingly more detrimental to you if you get hit more often and that sacred ash will remove all those debuffs I do realize that both of these items are rare so if you don't have them that's fine but if you do have them I recommend having them equipped just in case you find them to be helpful now without any further ado let's get into the guide so before we get into the fight, it's important to note that Nue's weak point is the belly. You'll see her belly glow whether she's doing any kind of lightning attack. This indicates that if you do hit her belly when it is glowing, you'll instantly drain her key and cause her to stagger. Now this is very important, and this is also why Nue generates so many miasmic clouds during the fight, because of how easily her key can be drained. So keep this in mind throughout the entire fight. Nue has about 15,000 hit points and only one phase, so all of her set moves will be the same throughout the entire fight. Now she will always open the fight with a singular lightning bolt. She will also do this exact move every time you drain her key and she goes to replenish it. She will always summon one bolt that's directly on top of her for the first Miasma Cloud, and then there will be a secondary bolt that will be cast on your location. So whether it's the beginning of the fight or just after a key drain, you're going to want to stay constantly moving as this lightning bolt can deal significant damage to you and it can also stack that slowing effect on you. So be careful of this opening move. Nue's first attack move is the Poison Cloud. This will only be done if you're directly in front of Nue at the time. You'll see the snake come over the top of her head and start to spew poison in front of her. Now this isn't used terribly often by her, but it is a mechanic and it can stack with uh, the poison effect, so you're going to want to also use the Sacred Ash to reduce this, or just keep back if you're not going to be able to be dealing damage directly in front of her. Her next favorite attack is the Lightning Bolt combo. She's basically going to shake her body, arch up, and then yell pretty much. Uh, she's going to call down Lightning Strikes, and it will always be four strikes of Lightning. So you can always count it out and make sure that you're not going to get hit by the last one. So always keep moving. During this attack, you can also run directly in front of Nue and hit her stomach. That will cause her key drain mechanic to start, and then she'll instantly lose all of her key and stagger. If you do happen to drain her key during this attack sequence, keep in mind that the rest of the lightning bolts will still strike. So try not to do it at the beginning of her casting this, but rather right in the middle of it, either right after the second or third lightning strike actually hits. That way you don't get obliterated by the lightning strikes when you're trying to deal some damage to Nue. Now the third attack that she has is a lightning breath. This is also another point at which you can attack her stomach for that instant key drain mechanic. While it is possible to start the key drain mechanic from the front of Nue, I don't recommend doing it mainly because if you happen to miss, you'll be right in front of her lightning breath as she's casting it, which is going to deal not only damage, but it's also going to cause that movement speed debuff, and it's going to be very good to avoid that, so I recommend just running to her side, getting a nice view of her stomach, and then doing an upwards motion if you can, or whatever attack sequence you find fits for this moment to be able to hit her uh, stomach to cause that key drain effect. Her next attack is a 360 degree spin. This obviously will be done whether you are on her backside or her side. Uh, so keep in mind that after the key drain uh, mechanic, step back, wait for her to regen her key so that you don't get hit by that lightning bolt mechanic as previously mentioned. And then also you're going to want to look out for the 360 degree spin because that could also be done directly afterwards. Now our next set of attacks is a swipe combo and a roll. Uh, the reason why I'm grouping these together is because they're usually done in tandem, although they can be done independently. 
It can either be a one swipe, a two swipe combo, or a two swipe combo plus the roll. Now the swipe mechanics are pretty simple. It's always going to be left attack, right attack, or I'll be right then left. Uh, you can either dodge these by rolling backwards or rolling to the left or right. Both of those are viable. The one thing that you will want to look out for is the roll. Mainly because even though you may dodge the roll of Nue, she'll also summon lightning and miasma clouds behind her. So don't try to chase her if she rolls. Just let her do her roly-poly thing away from you. Get ready for the next part of the engagement and make sure that you don't get hit by those lightning. Now the last attack sequence Nue has in her fight sequence is a jumping attack. She'll basically crouch down kind of low like she's in a hunting prowl, and then she'll jump directly at you. You can either dodge left or right if you prefer, although dodging towards her is also acceptable. and may be the best option because after she lands from her jump, she's actually going to slide on her side exposing her stomach, which is going to offer you a great opportunity to start that key drain mechanic where you instantly drain her key and get in some good stagger damage on her. Whichever one you choose for dodging this attack. Just always keep in mind after the drain mechanics she will summon two lightning bolts. One on her direct location for her own miasma cloud and the secondary one is the actual attack. So don't overstay your welcome when her key does drain. You will have plenty of opportunities to drain her entire key bar. Take this fight at a good pace for yourself. Keep in mind for New Ace fight to go at your own pace, go for the openings that you feel most comfortable. And also keep in mind that Niue is not as aggressive as Hino Enma. It's more along the lines of Onryoki, to be completely honest. So the fight isn't necessarily as fast. Learn her moves for yourself. Get it in the comfort zone of where you can fight him. And you should be golden for this entire fight. Once you beat Niue, you will interact with uh, Fuku. For those of you who may not have actually used uh, any emotes on any of the yokai in the game, you are going to unlock the Sari emote. In order to get to the next part, you will have to do that emote to the uh, yokai that's guarding the door. After you do that emote, she will move for you and then you'll be able to proceed to the next part of the map. I hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you like and dislike so I can make proper changes for future videos. Otherwise, until next time. Happy hunting.